even at that point when I got neuropsych tested, um, I was still being called bipolar. Um, one typical diagnosis that people with this, di this borderline sort of get, um, but I actually do think bipolar and borderline are, are pretty different. Um, borderline, you get a, like rapid cycling of moods on a daily basis and it's usually interpersonally generated. So you're reacting to um, an interpersonal exchange and it bums you out or you feel rejected or you feel sad and then you sort of respond, you lash out or something. You don't read in bipolar about sort of aggression. You read about, you know, depression and, and mania. But I actually don't know that much about bipolar, but that's my sort of basic understanding of it. So, um, you know, people were consistently misdiagnosing me as that because they would see someone who had a lot of, you know, sort of slightly hypomanic, you know, intensity to them. And, um, and so I would get diagnosis that all the time and I would then get people try to prescribe me pills for it. Fortunately, the eating disorder in this case, like played a nice role because I didn't want to ever gain weight from the medication. I just was like, so if I gain 20 to 30 pounds, that's going to help because I won't want to leave my house then. And, um, how's that going to help the situation? So so, but the point is that I, you know, I was consistently getting diagnosed as bipolar. Consistently, people were trying to throw medication at me. Fortunately, consistently, I basically said no.